Hey, I'm Aja A, and welcome to Sunshine Haze. Don't forget to check out all the links that I have listed down in the description box. And if you like the video, please give me a little thumbs up. If you have any questions after the video is over, feel free to drop them down below. I try to respond to everyone. And if you all know people interested in astrology, numerology, tarot, or whatever I'm talking about on this channel, go on and send them this link. And don't forget to hit subscribe. And of course, thanks for tuning in and rocking with me. May this info help y'all live your best lives. Peace. Hey, hey, y'all. Welcome back to my channel, Sunshine Haze Co. I'm Aja A. For those of y'all that have never been here, welcome. For those of y'all that have always been here, welcome back. Thank you. Um, it's time for a new moon reading. This time around, it's the Virgo Lunar Cycle, looking at the month of September. And uh, this video is for the Aries, the Fire, Fire Aries, Aries Sun, Aries Moon, and Aries Rising. If you feel like what I'm saying in this video isn't resonating with you, please keep in mind it's a general reading. I do have all the signs listed down below. You can check out your moon and or rising sign. Um, I would also say check out the Virgo Lunar Cycle video. I talk about the collective energies we'll be dealing with underneath the Virgo influence for this month. And uh, this, this spread is just a typical four card spread looking at the energies coming in for you or the energies that you need to be tapping into Aries. Any challenges or obstacles you might be facing. Um, because we're dealing with Virgo energy during this month, going to be looking at where you need to do some work in the physical. And then, as always, a quick little soul message, something extra for you to take away with you from this spread, okay? All right, y'all, let's get started. First card that I have coming up for you is in the position of the energy um, for this month of September. And you've got come to the edge. And first, first off, I want to start with the numerology. This card has the number 36 which breaks down to nine. Nine is the number associated with endings and cycles shifting and ascension into new energy and into new spaces, right? This come to the edge card popping up in the month of uh, September as we're underneath this mutable Virgo energy wrapping up the summer does tell me that Aries, you gotta go on and finish whatever hasn't been finished up, okay? Um, I really pick up and this might sound crazy, but again, this is a general reading. For some of you, you may have just come out of a relationship that you were either in for a while or that was very prominent for you. Um, and you may, you know, how it may have been a little bit of time has passed. Spirit is crazy, is it not? I don't believe in any kind of coincidence. I uh, got a phone call and it's funny. It was uh, one of my best friends, my ace. Uh, and she was calling to just talk, but I'm like, girl, <laughs> really? <laughs> She's an Aries, and she just got married. And I literally was just talking about that, and I wasn't even thinking about her when I was saying that, but that's so so funny that she called. But um, anyways, as I was saying, Aries, you need to come to the edge. Go on and finish out those old chapters. So if you're like Sam and you just got married, you're not. it's not hot girl summer for you anymore. It's like, you know cozy girl winter for the rest of your life but that's okay or if you know you just got out of a relationship you know and it's easier said than done but you got to stop dwelling in that and you got to go on and move on and and move on with your life and live your life you know what I'm saying so come to the edge wrap up whatever needs to be wrapped up and find yourself in your new chapter completely so that you can really enjoy it okay all right um <coughs> excuse me the next card that I have coming up in this spread is Aizan. And this card, I think it's just funny that this is the crossing card because it's not not really a crossing energy message that I really have coming up here. I, this is really, this card is really just coming in with this message of, you know, cycles are changing, things are shifting for you and there's not really a negative energy surrounding it. Like, oh, you gotta cut cords, you gotta clear things out. This is, I just really pick up on the energy of like your, your energy Aries is shifting and your energy shifting has shifted things for you in the physical and kind of puts you really into this new, you know, these new cycles for yourselves. And this is just saying like you maybe still resonate with some of the energies or you still maybe have some of the habits of, I guess the best way to put it is the old you and it's kind of just time for you to shift your perspective during this time. You can turn this into an upright position and, you know, go with the change. Um, yeah, I'm not, I don't even really want to read this as a crossing position because I really don't pick up on that energy. I feel like a, a lot of you Aries are coming into really positive new situations and these new positive situations, you know, everything happens for a reason. I don't believe in coincidence. 
everything is divine, divine timing. I feel like these situations and these, you know, chapters that you're now in Aries are what you're supposed to be in, or at least what you're supposed to be given a try in the least, you know what I'm saying? So just try to be kind, just try to, you know, be aware of old habits that aren't really in alignment with your new life and when you see those pop up try to work through them try to break them try to you know I don't like saying the word rib but like try to rid yourself of the things that you don't really need anymore or the like I said the habits that you don't really need to partake in anymore all right the next card that I have coming up for you oops, that I have coming up for you, Aries, is in the position of the Virgo energy. So this is where you need to get down to the nitty gritty, do some work in the physical in order to prepare yourself for the change that is coming in with the fall cycle. And you've got the zombie card. And in this deck, this card resonates with this energy of really coming into and breaking out of yourself. So that as I was saying I was picking up on this energy of Aries there's change coming in for you but it's not really change that you're resistant to you just kind of have some attachments to some old habits or some old situations or some old people um and it's not necessarily something that you're not that you're opposed to moving away from it's just that energetic investment keeps those things either on your thoughts or on your heart so this zombie card coming up in the Virgo position, Aries, I think is actually really cool because this is saying, you know, the change that's coming in for you, where you, why you're coming to the edge and finishing up whatever needs to be finished up is so that you can really find yourself. I get this energy of Aries, you're about to be in one of these. I, and I don't like to, you know, people be like, oh, in my prime. I think we have several in my prime chapters. And I think that you are coming into one Aries. So you need to wrap like you really need to wrap the rest of this stuff up so that you can really be in your prime right now and september is where you're really about to get this shit popping so really you know start rocking with the energy that you're in now and really start you know doing the things that are in alignment with what your life is now i feel like you're gonna have a lot of fun aries and you're gonna have you know whether it be short-lived or whether it be you know a lifetime thing i feel like this is really this is really for you right now. So enjoy and enjoy the fact that this is the, the space that you've gotten yourself to live your best life. This is really a live your best life card coming up in this spread for you. All right, Aries. That was a mouthful. Whenever I'm winded after giving some given a message in these readings, that's it's usually a pretty prominent message for the group of people that I'm reading for or the person that I'm reading for. Um, all right, the last card that you have coming up in your spread is the frog card, and this is 13, which breaks down to four, which is the number of new foundations and firmly planting in your seeds so that you can really cultivate them. But this card also comes with the message of detox, and I think this is just to say, this is not like this, this spread is like yelling at you, Aries, like, hey, that's old news. You in a whole new space, you in a whole new place right now. Rock with this. Go on and finish up that. Get rid of this. You know, clear this out. Do what you got to do because this is life for you now. And this is what you got to be doing. And this is a fun card. So Aries, life is supposed to be really fucking... Oh, I'm sorry. Life is supposed to be really popping for you in September. <laughs> Whatever. I'm grown. Um, life is really supposed to be popping for you in September. But you've got to really wrap up some certain chapters or some certain cycles or some habits that, you know, are just not in alignment with what you've got going on for you now because... What you've got going on for you now really is for you now. Like, this is your time. These are your moments. All right, Aries. I hope that spread resonated with you. Um, if you feel like you've got any questions or comments, feel free to drop them down below. Um, you can also book a reading with me. I'm having an end of summer sale, so everything is on sale in my Etsy shop. That link is also down below. And, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all next time. Peace.